Pledge of Allegiance be mandatory in schools? Remember back in the day, everybody, everybody said the Pledge of Allegiance. I went to Catholic school and we said it every day. Well, I was in public school in Miami. One state senator says, yes, his bill would make it a requirement for all elementary school students in his state. Joining us now, the man behind the bill, State Senator Rob Standridge. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having uh, me. Don't most schools already do this? Yes, I, I believe that most do, uh, but I feel like uh, with the tone in the nation and the way things are going that I think it should be up to parents to decide and not uh, teachers in schools whether, whether the kids stay the Pledge of Allegiance or not. Elaborate on that a little bit, the tone of the nation. You know, there has been, there has been criticism about the Pledge of Allegiance because of the God reference and, you know, the separation of church and state. Why do you feel that it's necessary to have this as part of the, the curriculum, the, the lexicon of, uh, of America's schools today? Well, I think when you think of all the sacrifices that went into, you know, having our flag and having the freedoms that we have, I think the pledge is the least that we can do to honor those that have gone before us and sacrificed and and I think our children and our parents like that I think we certainly have a statute in Oklahoma that allows parents to opt out for their kids and I respect that uh, but I think that uh, that decision should be up to parents and children not schools and principals and you know teachers uh, I have utmost respect for them as well but I think that the students and the parents should make that decision and besides it's a great learning mm -hmm. experience I think uh, as children repeat this pledge, they, it, it, it offers up questions for them, for their teachers and their parents. So over time, maybe they begin to realize that what, into, what went into being able to say that pledge. With liberty and justice for all your, I think you're absolutely right. You hit on it there. It creates discussion, right? Yes, I think it does for, I mean, eventually I think that starts resonates, resonating and the children ask their parents about it, ask their teachers about it. And, and, uh, and I think our, our veterans and our fighting men and women really appreciate the idea of our children understanding uh, the sacrifices that went into the liberty and justice right. and the indivisible uh, portion of that, yes. And Senator, you, you've, you've made the argument that the parents don't, ha the kids don't have to be forced to say this. The parents can say to the school, our it. children are going to opt out, correct? That, that is correct. In fact, I was in a student uh, school recently, not on this topic, but a different one, and one of the children uh, obviously, the parents had requested that they don't appear in any photographs, so the teacher was very, um, did a very good job of making sure the child didn't appear in the photograph. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not isolating children. The schools handle this very well, and uh, and a lot of schools obviously say the pledge, and so the children that opt out in that case right. certainly can opt out already. So I think though that this is a parent decision, not a school and teacher decision. Senator, so keep when, you say, man, when you say mandate, yeah. Yeah. Oklahoma, yeah. playing yeah. Missouri. Mm. <laughs> sorry, Senator. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting she went to football. Mizzou. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Boomer Senator. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you got